Hello, my name is Todd Dust, and I work at Cypress Semiconductor. I'm an applications engineer in the PSOC group. Today, I'm going to be showing off one of our very cool example projects that we have for PSOC 5 LP. In order to demonstrate this example project, I'm going to be using the CY8C kit 050, which I have here on my desk, and I also have an oscilloscope so you can see the output waveforms. Now, I just chose this kit because it was on my desk, and I'm lazy, and that's the first thing I saw, but you can use any PSOC 5 kit that you have, or you can use just a PSOC 5 LP board that maybe you've created yourself. So for this example project, what I'm going to be showing off is what we call our wave DAC. And the wave DAC allows you to produce waveforms that you can output. So as you see on the screen right now, I have a kind of funny looking waveform that I've created with the wave DAC. So let me show you how that works. Let's go and create a new project in Creator. All right, so now that I've opened Creator, we can go to the example projects and we can find the example project for the wave DAC. So if you go to File, Example Projects, I'm going to choose the PSOC 5LP device family. And I'm going to go down here to find the Wave DAC 8 example. I'm going to create a new workspace, save this to my desktop. And you'll see here the project opens with the schematic. All that's on the schematic is my Wave DAC. If we go to Main, we look, all that's in here is Wave DAC Start and everything else happens in hardware with a DMA and a DAC. So we'll go back to the schematic. So if we open this up right now, we're doing a sine wave. So let's just see what that sine wave looks like. I'm going to program that in. All right, so now it's programmed in, and you can see on the oscilloscope, we have a nice sine wave. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see if we can make it a little more interesting. So let's go back to the wave DAC. And this time, let's choose a triangle wave. So apply and we'll program this in. All right, so now we have our triangle wave. Again, pretty cool. So let's make it even more interesting. We can go in here and we can set an arbitrary waveform. So I can actually draw my own waveform on here. I'm going to draw a waveform that looks like that. It's kind of ugly, but let's just try it. So if I program that in, Hopefully after it programs, you'll see my ugly waveform on the screen. And there we go. We have the waveform that I drew in the wave DAC. Some other things that you can do with the wave DAC is you can bring in an arbitrary waveform from a file. So if you wanted to create your own waveform, say in Excel, you could import that in to this component. Uh, you can set up its amplitude and its offset. Those only work if you're doing the sine wave. And you can also have two outputs if you wanted to have a second output. So the wave DAC is a very interesting and cool component, and I encourage you to play around with it and find out what you can do with it. Thanks for watching.